when we look at Antarctica, it's surrounded by this swirling mass of winds that move around Antarctica from the west towards the east. And because Antarctica is surrounded by ocean, these winds can move around without being stopped by land masses. And what we can see is that those westerly winds are very stormy, and because of that, they're a really important source of rainfall for countries in, in the southern hemisphere. So if those westerly winds are a long way north, then those cold fronts and storms will bring really important rainfall to countries like Australia, New Zealand and South America. When you have times when those westerly winds pull in tighter around Antarctica, then those cold fronts will go around and not actually hit the continents and those countries will miss out on rainfall. The other thing that those westerly winds do is that as they move around and get faster and tighter around Antarctica, they, they trap cold air over the continent.